Hey guys, Zach with Trend Spider here doing a uh, overview video of the uh, strategy tester and without further ado we'll get right into it. Um, today I'm going to be talking about uh, how you guys can use the strategy tester to back test some strategies and um, some of the new features we've added to it as well as some of the new capabilities that we've added to it as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to add some indicators to the chart. I've got a few already on here. Two moving averages, MACD, and I'll just add a stochastic to here. We'll hit apply, turn this on. Now, to access your strategy tester, you just turn it on up here in the top right. Uh, you don't actually have to have the indicator on your chart. It just makes it a little bit easier um, to back test that specific indicator. But if I wanted to add like a Bollinger Band into the back tester or a Kellner channel, you could just add it here with the parameter here. But it makes it a little bit easier to find. Uh, I'm going to delete this to show you guys how I got here. And if you noticed, um, the way this strategy tester works is the left side of my screen is, or the left side of the strategy tester is my entry conditions. The right side of my strategy tester is my exit conditions. So I'm going to test this strategy of um, cr uh, buying when the 9 crosses up on the 20. Uh, stochastics are bullish and MACD is bullish. So we can do that by um, clicking on the add parameter here. Click on condition and then just set up our parameters. Say 9 crossing up on the indicator 20. Uh, you can go ahead and add another condition, right? We want to add that MACD condition, so my fast needs to be greater than my indicator slow. Uh, and then we can add a uh, third condition. We can keep adding conditions to this, right? Uh, but I'm going to do a stochastic K. It needs to be greater than my indicator stochastic D. We could add a volume condition to this. We could add a uh, we could add a uh, uh, a candlestick pattern condition to this. We could back test. Um, above average volume with a candlestick pattern. So really this strategy tester is unlimited. Uh, the one thing that is limited about this strategy tester is that we can only back test single time frame strategies at the moment. So if you noticed here everything on the uh, left side of my screen is um, all in the daily time frame. That's because the strategy tester setting is set to the daily. You can go from the one minute all the way up to the monthly chart. We'll just this on an hourly time frame but uh, we do offer we do still offer multi fact multi time frame alerts right so you can have multiple conditions from other time frames being met and still get that alert you just can't back test that at the moment right but that's something down the line that we're gonna add now uh, you've got your exit conditions here on the right and we can add a script condition candles pass take profit or stop loss or all four right uh, we'll do an add script condition we'll say all right I want to go ahead and Let's say I want to sell in the exact opposite over here. Uh, so when the 9 crosses down on the 20 instead of up. So we'll go ahead and add that condition. And then we can also go ahead and add a candles pass, right? So I'll just say if I'm still in the trade 60 candles later, I just want to exit. Um, if I'm, I also maybe want to add a take profit level. So if I've made more than 25% on my money, I just want to exit here. And then I can add a stop loss as well. Let's say if I lose more than 5%, I just want to exit as well. And then notice here on these take profit levels, we've got these options of when the candle closes. So we hit the 25% and then it closes whenever. Or we can do it at that immediate level. That's your choice, right? I'm just going to do it for at the immediate level, right? So as soon as I hit a 5% stop um, or you know negative, uh, on the trade, I'm just going to exit. And uh, before you test the strategy, we've got a few settings. Like I said before, you got the time frames. So you can go from the one minute to the monthly analysis depth. So how far back do you want to test this strategy? The chart itself, which is um, around 300 candles or so, shallow 2,000, 3,000, 7,000 candles back, and then the trade by price. What are we going to execute these trades at? The open, high, low, close of this candle, or any of these averages? Uh, we're just going to do the close. Uh, now we do offer different chart types on this uh, platform. So generally speaking, most chart type, uh, most back tests work with the generic open, high, low, close. But for our raindrops and high Kanashi in line, those data points are going to be a little bit different. So just make sure you're on the right, you're on the right type of candle chart that you um, that you want to back test. So I'll go ahead and test this strategy with our um, with the inputs that we've had that we have here. And you can see we managed pretty well for the most part. Um, I'm reading this from the bottom left-hand corner of my screen. I analyzed 47 positions across 
Two years of Facebook data, just under 3,000 candles with an average trade return of 0.29%. So what this is saying is that um, over the last of the course to over the course of the last two years, we traded 47 times, and every time we entered into a trade, we can expect to, uh, to have an average gain of 0.29%. Right, and then you can see here of our performance chart, uh, we've got the performance of our portfolio or our strategy netted us 11 and 11.72 percent while buying and holding Facebook over the last two years would have netted us a positive gain of 0.45 percent it's not that great um, you can see here in the tabular data on the right we've got some repetitive statistics but uh, you've also got your asset performance beta versus asset positions you've got the number of winning trades so 18 or 38 percent number of losing trades 62 percent or 29 average winning trade uh, was positive 3.71 percent average losing trade was negative 1.82 or 83 percent giving us that average return and then we've also got this price behavior explorer on the left if I maximize this and I show you what it reads it says mean percent change after uh, X candles was positive 3.18 percent so basically what this is saying is that for the positions that lasted this long, they generally averaged you around a 3.18% gain. Well, you can actually see the number of positions that made it that far by clicking on number of positions here. And then uh, we see you can see we started at 47 as time goes by. You can see we're at about uh, between 20 trades here open at this time. Now, keep in mind, this is the average, right? So um, that means that there could be some higher um, trades that were returning a higher return at that point or trades that were uh, returning a lower uh, return at that point as well. It's not, all, it's not like all of your trades netted you this gain, right? So we can see which um, the 25th and 75th percentile by this blue shadow. So the top of this shadow is the 75th percentile of your trades. So the top 75th percentile of your trades were netting you here around this 25%. I'm sorry, uh, three, 25 candles, 3.24%, while the bottom 25% are down here. You can also do the min-max range in here. This is going to show you the absolute min-max range. So we had a trade all netting us all the way up here at 15% almost, and then we had some trades down here almost negative as well. So uh, that's a, a kind of a better way to look at it as well, to see the full range of your trades. Another good way to look at it is the median change. So you can see here our median change is a little bit lower than our mean change, right? So that is the price behavior explorer. Now, cool thing with this is you can click see on chart and you can actually see on the chart when and where we would have entered and exited based on these conditions, right? And why we would have exited, right? So entry exit because of the script condition, script condition here. I can click and drag this chart back and I can keep looking back uh, to see, you know, maybe some other conditions that were exited, but we can just look through our chart here and see why we exited, right? So you can see entry exit because of the number of candles passed here, another um, exit because of candles passed, right? You can just see those arrows on your screen. Uh, these arrows will stay on your screen, so to remove them, make sure you right click on one of them and then hit remove all execution marks, they'll pop right off. Uh, now the other thing you can do, let's say you have a strategy that you like and you want to dive into a little bit deeper based on the trades, you can click on this download CSV file and click on one of these options. It's going to download an Excel sheet into your computer. You can open that Excel up and dive into this, um, dive into the details of these trades. Right? What prices were you buying them at? What were you um, exiting at? Now one thing to note about this strategy tester is that we assume perfect executions, right? So we don't account for slippage. Or um, you know missing the market, or we're we're, um, we're presuming that you entered the market perfectly and exited perfectly each time. The other thing that you need to know about the strategy tester is that uh, when you uh, we take into account the the wins or losses from your previous trades. So what that means is uh, when uh, we when you go into your next trade you are taking in the wins or losses from your last trade. So it's a compounding port, um, strategy that we're testing here, right? So uh, that's another thing to keep in mind, a little bit disclaimer there. Now, cool thing with this is that you can literally just click on the next ticker you want to um, create this alert on. TrendSpider will automatically back test the strategy for you and um, do the trend analysis all at the same time, right? So you can see if this works on Google. In this case, it doesn't. We can go to the SPY, see if it works on SPY, right? And we can keep on going through our watch list here. 
Now, um, the other thing is, um, you know, part of back testing is editing your strategies to kind of make sure they perform a little bit or see if they can perform a little bit better, right? Um, one quick thing that I didn't mention here is we've also got a distribution line here. So you can actually see, um, you know, where most of our trades are executing at um, on our, you know, average wins or an average loss. So you can see a max gain here of 4.4%, a max loss of 1.5% with an average loss right there, right? Average return and our average gain. Um, now you can go ahead and, and the cool thing with this is you just keep um, editing this stuff to you know make better uh, strategies, right? So let's say that a lot of our exits were because of number of candles passed and that could have been limiting our gains. We can exit this, con we can exit, excuse me, delete this condition to see if our net return maybe um, goes up or down after uh, a period of time, right? So our net profit at that point was 14.8. It went down by 0.4. So the number of candles uh, past position actually helped us, right? And that's just part of back testing and seeing, you know, what works and what doesn't. Adding new conditions, taking away conditions. And I recommend only editing one condition at a time. Once you find a good, decent strategy, maybe only tweak one thing, test it, see if it worked or not, right? Made it better or not. If it did, um, maybe test another thing, see if it can improve there or not, right? Um, and the other thing that the strategy tester can test is the consecutive conditions being met. So for example, um, let's say I didn't want to enter unless I had two green candles previous to the cross here. So I could do that. We could say, all right, um, if you notice, and we can add these types of um, consecutive conditions with these parentheses last. So I want to go ahead and say, all right, well, I want these conditions met and I also want to enter on a green candle so my open needs to be less than my price close but this green candle needed to have happened um, a candle before these other conditions met so I can click on this last and I'll put notice how it goes from zero candles ago so we can change that to a one right and then I can also um, go and add another candle and we'll actually um, click on excuse me, we'll go ahead and click on price, open, needs to be less than, price, close, I'll click on last, we'll do one candle ago here, and then we'll click on last, and we'll do one candle ago. So now that this, um, now a green, so now this will test the strategy of when these conditions are met, and previously we had a green candle. So, and then we can keep adding these other these this condition here right so I could um, and make it making it uh, two candles ago three candles ago four candles ago five candles ago it's a little bit repetitive but you can actually save these conditions so that you don't have to keep on making these types of repetitive uh, repetitive additions to the uh, to the uh, strategy tester here so I'll do this and I'll just do one more we'll do two candles ago do actually a lot sorry because I'm on a small small screen I have to do a little work around here because I accidentally hit the um, X on that so right so now what this is gonna do is this is gonna enter on and now you can't get too specific sometimes because um, you know the market isn't always gonna present these perfect conditions to you so you need to be careful on adding too many conditions to your entry side but basically what this means what I'm testing right here is for this um, these conditions to have met with two green candles prior to these conditions being met, right? So I can go ahead and test if that's a real viable um, strategy on here, and you can see uh, that it is still, but um, you know it increased. It actually um, it doesn't look like it didn't it actually hurt our strategy here, but it still um, was able to find some entries based on that condition there. But you can see it was a lot less entries. It was about half, um, it was about 10 or so less entries than previous, right? And it, it brought our net profit down to three and a half. So just keep that in mind, guys, when you're finding these consecutive conditions that um, you might not find, you know, all the trades you want because you're limiting yourself. So that's the strategy tester now, you guys, and that's the video. Um, let us know if you guys have any questions. You can email us, hello at trendspider.com, and you can also um, get, us in, get in contact with our live chat as well. Um, my name is Zach, and thanks for hanging out with us.